Hello you guys Welcome back to my channel My name is Maria and I'm a tarot reader spiritualist here on YouTube I'm not going to be doing well I don't know if I am but I don't know it's like it's Sunday and I'm in a really good energy um but I wanted to do something different, I guess. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> I'm just overthinking it anyways. But um, yeah, I wanted to do something different. I don't know what I was going to do, but I have this book. And um, I really like liked what this like paragraph, what it said. And it kind of inspired me and I'm like maybe I should do a video and and honestly that's the reason why um, but the thing is that the book is in Spanish so I'm gonna read it in Spanish and then um, I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts and like how I can relate to that and how I feel like what do I project from it right and it's from this book called Las Cuatro Dimensiones del Amor. So, so it's the four dimensions, the four dimensions of love. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys are not going to understand, but anyways, here we go. It says, Como descubrir y conocer y darle la bienvenida a nuestro amor interno. So, how to do how to discover and how to let basically how to welcome like inner love is what it's saying um ante lo que hemos visto and <sighs> okay sorry you guys ante lo que hemos visto el amor interno es el principal el principal de todos los amores Es el que debemos ofrecer y pasar a nuestros hijos desde pequeños y también hasta que nos vamos de este mundo. El amor interno. So basically it's just talking about, you know, um, having that like self love and projecting it to like to children right to children because eventually they're gonna grow up right and and be like like every other human being right so if we teach our children this you know self-love and um how to value you, your own self you know and you practice that throughout your whole life you know it's very beautiful. I feel like sometimes we put ourselves down a lot. We may judge our own actions like really tough, right? But we also need to give credit to ourselves. We all make mistakes. I don't know, maybe I guess I'm just like channeling like maybe someone out there is going through a hard time and they're going to see this video and maybe get something out of it i hope that happens um but yeah but having like self-love and respecting your boundaries and not letting people just you know play with you is like very important because sometimes we can get lost like for instance, like a scenario, like when people love, right? And they love and it's maybe like a toxic relationship. You have to know when to like draw the line. You have to have that self-love to make that type of decision. Oh, okay. I don't know. I feel like these are just like messages I'm channeling you guys. <laughs> So maybe like a collective message, that's what I'm going to write down for the title of this video. The collective message. 
yeah um, I don't know I just I just want to like mostly why I'm doing this is to like look back and um, see how much I've grown um, you guys are like what the heck <laughs> um, yeah my channel my life and maybe you know that's something you need to look into maybe you need to look into what makes you happy that's just what I'm feeling it got like stuck This book is really beautiful. I don't know, I kind of like want to just like open it and then and see what I find. It says final reflection, reflexión final. Con el amor real experimentamos que todos en Todos en nuestras familias tenemos igual valor e iguales posibilidades de ser felices, de expandir nuestra vida, de expresarnos, de luchar. Todos debemos ser respetados por igual, tal como lo, tal como lo viven y lo sienten las familias con fortuna espiritual privilegiadas y realizadas. I probably chopped that super bad. <laughs> um, it's basically talking about what is the ending goal of having a relationship, right? In a relationship, they have to be able to value you. Um, to want to be better, to be able to have your self-expression and also grow in a spiritual way. Oh, that's beautiful. I got this book forever ago. I started reading like a little bit of it and I never finished it. And I'm glad that I have it because it's so beautiful. You know, it's really important to educate yourself, you guys. To always continue to grow, to never stop like yearning for knowledge. Because honestly, like knowledge helps us get so much farther in life. You have to keep having those goals, keep succeeding, keep being a better version of yourself. You know, that's something I do recommend like like self-help books, health books, yeah. It makes you see like world in, in the world in like a different le a lens, like it's beautiful. Okay. All right, that was from that book. Let's see. I feel like, oh, and then I also have these quotes that one of my friend, um, she's really good with, is it calligraphy? Anyways, like type of like writing in different fonts. And there's this quote that I love and she wrote it for me and I still have it. It's a little tore up, but I'll read it to you guys. It says, problems cannot be solved by the same level of thinking that created them. By Albert Einstein, you guys. You have to just continue growing if you want a better life. There's things, people, places that you have to let go of to become better and be in a better state. So think about that, you guys. Okay. 
I'm gonna take a card from this deck. So let's see. Maybe think about something. Like I said, this is a collective message, so um, I don't know. Think about something, whatever it is, and maybe take a look at this message and see how it can like help you. This is my first video for a collective message. Wow. How cool. So far. Surrender. Gentleness. You need to gently surrender. Someone needs to gently surrender to what is being manifested in front of you. Quit fighting something. It's like you're scared of what can happen. Okay, but is it like maybe something you can't control? I don't know. Perception and balance hmm. elevate your perception okay innocence Maybe a young love. Someone has a young love transitioning. Someone is maybe having a transitioning moment within their relationship because that is what the message was. Um, the way the energy was shifting, right? That's what it was saying. How to love properly. Basically transitioning, right? This person, whether you're a guy or a girl, like, in whoever this, like, relationship is, there's a lot of reflection that is going on. Reflection about this relationship or maybe this, like, point in time in your life. Um, obviously, you have a very deep connection with this person because maybe you've known them for a good amount of years. I am seeing that as well. I feel like this card is for me though. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I kind of stayed quiet, you guys. <laughs> okay, because I'm part of the collective, but that's why I'm giving the message. <laughs> okay. So, ancestors. Maybe someone wants to know something about their ancestors. Someone wants to know a question about their ancestors. Could be grandma, grandpa, mom or dad. Maybe your parents, maybe your grandparents, maybe. Could be a guy or a girl because there's two genders here. So ancestors. So someone wants to know, someone wants to know about spirits, past spirits, past energies. Maybe they passed away when you were a child, around nine, 
nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten. You could be a female, or you could have like curly hair if you're a guy. You've gained a lot of wins wisdom. Not everything's gonna resonate, you guys, so take whatever message is, is for you, because it is a collective message. It's not like just a message for you. Um, to whoever wants to know about their ancestors, I feel like you've grown, you've had to grow up pretty fast and you've gained a lot of wis wisdom for your age. You could have a pet bird or something. Or some type of small pet. It's more mostly like a small pet. Bird dog. I don't know. It's a small pet. Centering. You guys are trying to get a hold of like your energy and just be like in a good spot that's good okay why you guys well that was the message for the collective um, I also do personal readings I'll leave all that information in the description um, if you guys want to go ahead, like, and subscribe to my channel, um, that would be great. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Um, this was definitely different. Like I said, I didn't know what I was going to do, but this is what happened. So, um, find your happiness, you guys. Choose to be happy. Try to make the best decisions that you can for your life so that you can always have beautiful outcomes um, and stay true to yourself. Don't lose yourself. Love yourself. Treat yourself. Stay positive, you guys. All right. Bye, you guys.